Up for sale on our vehicle max, we have a 2010 Dodge Grand Caravan SXT, white on the outside with gray interior, has dual power doors, full stow and go, where the, uh, there's our, our right side power door just opening up with a remote. Um, it has a uh, privacy tinted glass, roof rack, driver side power seat, and curtain side airbags. Let's go ahead and come around to the other side so we can open the, uh, the uh, driver side power door with a remote. Just to let you know, if you're watching this video in Auto Trader, it will cut off at three minutes. If you want to see the full 10 minute video, please visit our website, vehiclemax.net. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out right at our homepage. There's a clickable link for the Better Business Bureau. That'll take you to our rating. Um, if you have any questions, my name is George. You can be reached at 305-218-5462. This vehicle's original paint, never been in an accident, has a clean title and a clean Carfax. You can view right now for free at our website, vehiclemax.net. Four-wheel uh, four disc brakes, alloy wheels, tire pressure monitoring sensors, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate to you now the, um, the stow and go, how it folds flat into the ground. So let's go ahead and open the side doors. And uh, Julio's going to demonstrate for us how to fold the seat away. Let me go ahead and go to the other side so you can get a better view when he's doing it. You've got to slide the front seats just a little bit up so you can get enough uh, room there. And uh, while he does it, I'll go ahead and film it here. You lift that lid and fold it over twice. Okay. Fold the seat. Flip it forward, and it does like a 360, and ducks down into the ground completely flat. Now the cover slides over, and it hides it perfectly. You can't see it at all. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and do the back. This side is the same way. We don't need to do both uh, both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and come around here. Let him uh, do his thing back here. This one here is a little easier. Let's work. Just pull the bottom handle there and release, and then just bring it down, and it folds completely flat into the ground. Same thing as you can see, they're independent of each other, so you don't need to do both sides. You can just do one side. Right there, now it's completely flat. Obviously, this seat here does the same exact as the other one on the side there, but we don't have to. Uh, we don't have to show you both. Just one's good enough. Let's go ahead and flip them back forward so they can see it. Very easy. Just flip it forward, pull the handle, and pull that little strap, put it back down. And any adult can do this, doesn't have to be a heavy set guy. Uh, ladies can do this too. Okay? And we got lots of cargo space back here too when you're not using the, uh, when you're not folding the seats. Let's go ahead and uh, see how he puts the other seat back up here. Alright. Lift the lid over, fold it over twice, and then just bring it up there. Okay? and then pull the seat there. Let me back off so you can see it better. It kind of does a twirl around, okay? And just fold that back in, and there you go. Perfectly easy, no problems, no, not hard to do at all. We've got curtain side airbags here on the rear post, I mean the, uh, the middle post here, okay? And curtain side airbags here on this middle post here as well. Uh, you can operate the doors by using the remote control of the vehicle or you can just press these buttons. Got a dual AC here that control you can control your own fan speed, the temperature and the flow. This over here, this should be just storage here. Okay, and as you can see it's got uh, lighting in there, like a courtesy lighting so you can see. And we got map lights here for the middle row passengers as well as the rear row. And there's AC vents for the rear row passengers, one there, one over there, and the middle row passengers, they have their own vent right here and right over there. Okay, Julio, I think I got the rest here. Um, we got also power adjustable pedals, uh, like a wood trimming here on the side with silver and a chrome handle. The door panel is like a light gray with charcoal gray on top. Of course, the vehicle is equipped with our power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel. We also got a control back here. This is to, uh, for the stereo, and I'll demonstrate that in just a minute. Going to go ahead and close both doors. For the video, it'll be better. And we'll close the other door with a remote by hitting it here. 
Okay, there it goes. And let's go ahead and close the tailgate. So once I get the car started, I won't have to talk so loud. You can hear me better that way. Rear wiper, rear window defroster. Again, it's the uh, Grand Caravan SXT. Go ahead and move on to the interior. I'll get it started for you. Again, uh, before I sit down, driver's side power seat and power recliner. And before I sit down, let me pan over the driver's seat so you can see that there's uh, no burn holes or any damage to the seating area. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes on the seats, door panels, carpeting, headliner, dashboard, steering wheel, and there's no odor of smoke. So it looks like the previous owner was a non-smoker. Okay. Let's get it started. Tell you what, let me go ahead and close that other door really quick. So you can uh, hear me better when I do the video. Car has no damage anywhere, no dents, no hail damage, no love bug damage, no major touch-ups or scratches of any kind. Again, it has a clean title and a clean Carfax. You can view right now for free at our website, vehiclemax.net. Uh, again, as I was saying before, privacy tinted glass, roof rack with the two crossbars. The power windows are one touch, meaning you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. Same thing for up. <coughs> okay, of course we got unlock and lock here. Just leave it unlocked. And these are the vents for the rear windows. This is to close them and that's to open them. And the wood trimming also continues around here. The power pedals, let me see if I can demonstrate that before I sit. All right, let's see here. There they come out. A little hard to see in the video, but they're coming out. And this is a neat feature in case you got a real tall driver or a real short driver. They move about five or six inches in and out and uh, independent completely of the seat. So uh, when you get a real short driver, it also helps out, you know, because sometimes moving the seat all the way forward or all the way back is not enough, you know. Let's get the AC going here. Let's put it to cold. Free circle, and there it goes. Okay, uh, we have a single six, uh, single disc MP3 player with an auxiliary port for your iPod. Uh, has satellite stereo, but right now it's on. Uh, I think it's on preview mode because uh, you got to sign up for your own subscription. The car has uh, 64,391 miles, and on the left hand side below the speedometer, you have a digital display for the. Uh, temperature outside and also a uh, compass lets you know that we're pointing or heading in the east direction. The car is running right now. I'm going to rev it so keep an eye on the uh, right hand middle this one right here so you can see that I'm, I'll be revving the motor. A little hard to see here because I got the window up but it's going to put the window down so you can hear it. Run smooth. Sounds smooth. And the reason I'm doing that is just mostly to show you that there are no check engine light on, no airbag lights, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, no um, nothing. Just every, the car really needs nothing. There's two lights that are on. That's the one for the seatbelt because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. And the other one is just the, uh, we're, we're almost on empty so the fuel light comes on. <coughs> All right, uh, your cruise control is down here. Your shifter is up here. It's an automatic transmission that has a manual shifting mode. I'll demonstrate. You step on the brake. Bring this reverse, neutral, and drive. And then you can make it shift manually by tapping left or right. You can see the plus and minus there. If I tap right, we uh, we shift up. If we die, if we tap left, we downshift. Okay, but you don't have to do that. If you want the transmission to shift on its own, just leave that alone and it'll shift on its own, okay? All right, um, uh, again, we have triple climate control. I can control my own temperature here and so can the passenger in the front and the rear row passengers to control their own temperature or we could do it for them here okay we can control the fan here for the rear row passengers or they could do it back them themselves okay um, up here in the middle we got um, some pockets here for like cup holders and storage um, down here we've had two cigarette lighter adapters power sources you know for your uh, chargers and here this pulls out onto a cup holder also so you got actually two four and six cup holders here uh, this is just storage here and another little storage over here let's go ahead and put it in the stereo right now it's on uh, let's put FM
Carson, NFL. All right, the bottom function is to lower the volume. This top function is to raise the volume. And this is to switch from AM to FM to satellite and to auxiliary. And over here, the two buttons, the button over here, this one changes the stations, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, turn it off for now so you can hear me talk. We have a display here for the uh, time. Up here, we got a LED uh, map lights. These are the, the ones that light up instead of yellow tint with a blue tint, they're much brighter. Up here, there should be a storage for sunglasses, and then you can also push it halfway, and then it stays there, and it's a mirror, so you can watch what the kids are doing in the back without having to turn over your head, and that uh, doesn't distract your vision. Okay, and it closes up there. Uh, this is your home link to program your garage door or gate at your complex. You can program up to three gates, okay? And uh, that way you don't have to bring the remote with you. Once you program it, it stays there. Okay, vanity mirrors with lighting. Same thing on the passenger side. Okay. Um, and as I was saying before, you got the wood trimming over here. Continues over here. Back up over here around the um, ignition switch. And also uh, continues over here around the passenger side and on the door. Very sharp looking. It's not like your that you know that yellow wood tint. This is more like a darker wood. Looks really sharp. It matches the car much better than that bright bright yellow look on the wood. Uh, okay. Um, I think we're pretty much done up here. Let's go ahead and open the glove box really quick. Uh, you get some other some of your owners' manuals, probably some of the previous records from the previous owner that haven't been. This is open here. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. Up here we have another storage. Uh, this is um, a little bit smaller. It's more like for magazines and uh, maps or newspapers. Anybody, anybody reads newspapers anymore? Okay. Um, dashboard. I'm gonna go ahead and pan over it now. In the meantime, I'll remind you. The one I pan over it so you can see that there's no cracks, burn holes, or uh, it's not lifting up anywhere. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is their zip code. And we're open Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday 9 to 5. And we're always closed on Sundays. Okay. Um, go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, open every door really quick. And uh, we'll pop the hood and we'll end this video. Again, if I missed something and you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. You can reach me at uh, 305 218-5462. Let's go ahead and open this door here. You gotta click it twice. And this is unlock here and lock here. Alright, get a little storage here on the sides. Um, a panel with the seating area so you can see it's in great shape. This uh, lifts up also lifts up, okay? So um, but when you we had it all the way down because when you go fold it down here you need it all the way down. Uh, this is a seven passenger, two in the front. Two in the middle, that makes four, and three passengers in the back, uh, that makes seven. And they all have an over-the-shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, which uses this one here that comes off the roof to go over the shoulder. All right, let's continue on to the passenger side. We'll leave it open for now. Tail lights, headlights, all in perfect shape, no cracks or scuffs, nice and clear. They're not hazy or anything like that. Come over here to the side here. Okay. Uh, again, we can lift this up here. All right. And panel with the seating area so you can see it's in perfect shape with no damage or burn holes. Same thing in the back, nice and clean. It's a little hard to see there because uh, because of the tinted windows and it's a little darker today. It's not a very bright day. The sun is not out. It's mostly a cloudy day. Passenger front door. And uh, they're the same. They got storage all over, low storage here, here. This could actually be used as a cup holder as well. This can be used as a coin tray or even here as a coin tray. Pan over the passenger seat here so you can see it's in perfect shape. We'll pop the hood and we'll conclude the video. It's, uh, I believe this is a 3.3 V6, but let's take a look. Sorry, this is a 3.8 V6. And uh, let's go ahead and put the prop rod really quick here. So that I can, uh, all right, that's it right there. Okay, it's a 3.8 liter V6. This is a bigger one, and uh, which powers the car much better. As you can see, there's no oil leaks. 
there's no corrosion or rust. This is a Florida car, not a northern car. And, uh, and there you can see that it's very, very clean in the engine compartment. No accidents, original paint. None of the bolts have been turned from any accidents. Anyway, here, anybody who knows anything about cars, the moment you put a wrench to these bolts here, uh, it cracks the paint. It will let you know that somebody's had to adjust it for some reason. And as you can see, these are not ever even been moved. Okay, not back there, or not up here. Um, got all your stickers. All the fluids are up to the correct level. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. Should you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George, 305-218-5462. Um, we have excellent rates for financing if you require financing. Uh, if your credit is not so good, we also have special financing. We can pretty much get anyone financed. If you live a long distance away and you're con uh, concerned about financing, you can go to our website. Uh, right on the home page is a silver tab that says apply for credit. Click that and uh, submit, uh, fill out the application completely. Click submit at the bottom of the page and we can go ahead and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to go ahead and thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.